In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the Philippines 30 Ravenna. Let's get down, let's check him out, and let's see if we can add some of what he does into our games. Let's check him out. Now, just really quickly, 30 Ravenna is a very explosive player who likes to use a lot of footwork and jab fakes in his game. So here, what we see is a quick hesitation, and then he pushes off of his left foot to attack the rim. He's now doing a quick ball fake out towards this player, which makes his defender jump into the air, and then he's able to pivot around. He could have taken that shot, but what he does instead is he brings his right foot way back, which will allow that to be another fake, but that defender did not go for it. He's able to then step through, and he's able to loop it high off the backboard. Now really quickly, I really want to point this out. If you're a player trying to learn how to use the backboard, go from the corner of the backboard to the corner of that square. If you are roughly 45 degrees angles out, or if you can generally hit that area very softly, you're going to be able to make a lot of your shots off the backboard. Now in this next clip, what we see is very smart play. We see a back screen at the point, a wing to corner pass, and then 30 Ravenna is able to cut back door and make that layup. Now something that a lot of players make a mistake on is when they catch this ball, they'll land back down, and then they'll go up and get blocked. But instead, what you should do if you're getting a backdoor cut pass, you need to get rid of that ball super fast. And that's what we see here. He's able to get that alley-oop off that backboard and he's able to finish. Now when you're attacking the rim, especially when you're a smaller player going up against some of the giants in the game, what you want to do here is, let's say you're in a one-on-two situation. You want to bring that ball two hands close to your core, close to your chest, whatever. Take that contact and then go up for that layup and of course get that and one. Oh yeah. Next is going to be a very good play as well, especially if you're a little bit undersized. And that is Euro steps around bigger players. So what's basically going to happen here is this big man is going to be thinking, well, I'm just going to take the charge or I'm at least going to make a shot contest. But if you can pick up that ball, here what we have is a pickup on the right. He's allowed two steps after. He goes left, right around that player and he's able to do a finger roll off the backboard and he's able to make that layup. This is something that you can do anytime you're attacking a center who has no momentum taking him in one direction or the other. If it's basically a dead player who's cemented his feet, you can do whatever you want around him, two steps, but here 30 Ravenna uses the Euro step to get around him. This next cl clip is also very good. So what we have is he's able to receive that ball and does a quick pass fake which gets this defender six miles up into the sky and then he's able to attack that rim. Now whenever you're attacking what seems to be a zone, this looks to me to be a 2-3 zone, you're going to have multiple players come and defend you. Usually you'll have this middle defender come up and you would just loop a pass down to the low post player for an easy layup but instead that defender wanted to stick with the center so instead, you could go up for a floater, but Ravenna's a lot better of a finger roll player, and that's what he's able to do here. He's able to take that last step in the middle of the key, and then he's able to finish on the left side of the rim, which is very important because if he finishes in front of the rim, this defender at higher levels or just bigger defenders in general could block that shot if you went up in front. But by going up on that left side, you are using that net and that rim to your advantage to defend your layup from getting blocked by him. The only person you have to worry about is this guy, but you can really shade him off with your left hand if need be. Now this next clip is a very good one as well. So here we go, one on one, 30 Ravenna's attacking that rim. What he wants to do here, because this player wants to go and block his shot, he doesn't want this to be easy at all, you wanna go up with two hands on that ball, and then you can shade that ball, and of course you can make some English type of shot off of the backboard, but if you want an easier shot, how I would do it is collect that ball off of your right foot, and then jump up and land on both feet at the exact same time. When you do this, 
when you land, you can do a quick shot fake, which will still probably get this guy well into the air, and then you can either finish after this guy flies by you with an easy layup, or because you've taken that hop and landed on two feet, what you can do now is do a quick step through with one foot, which would be your second step, and to do a reverse on the other side. That's how I would personally do it. I try to shade, shy away from any kind of contact because of my previous knee injuries, but that is one way that you can do that. Make sure to go check out all of the equipment that I use down in the description below. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.